Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. This time I made a yeah special edited video. I hope you like it. Please leave a comment under this video and tell me um, what is good and what is not good and how you found it. It was a lot of hours work to edit it like that. I hope you love it in that way. I just tried something else because Every time the same editing is boring, I think, for the viewers. Well, what we have here is a beautiful 2 vs 2 with Eagle 5. I had no premium. Um, that means I underestimated the enemy very much and didn't play it um, yeah, at my fullest. But let's see how it goes. We got the big container and now we rush together with the deltas we had left to attack his hero factory and let's see how much damage we can do. Eagle 5 also sent his Cerberus to the base. I sent out a cyclone here to scout out the forest for hiding infantry. Mm, he's going on defense mode, actually building up an anti-air tower. I think don't need that right now. We also talk about good and bad things. <laughs> well, killed the hero factory. <laughs> yeah, and I fill up this video with funny gifs. I hope you like it. And also with some funny sounds to make it more annoying for you guys. Okay, we did a lot of damage to the yellow blair, he's very much slowed down in his deployment time. Um, what I think, the red player have a good deployment time. I was very slow here in my base and uh, built it a little bit chaotic, uh, my base up. Um, but what I see here, he have two anti-air towers now, a lot of naval platforms. I think Eagle 5 didn't need that. He uh, had the chance to finish this battle very early because Yellow was very high damaged and slow in his deployment time with our early attack. But yes, I also made a lot of mistakes and we will talk also about that. So, first of all I have Vertex. I think it would be better to build up here some land units. Um, Let's see, I already asked uh, Eagle 5 <laughs> what kind of enemy it is. I'm still sure they are newbies and not that strong. But well, it turned out it's Armour, a very um, experienced player, and they did very well. And it's a big mistake to underestimate anybody here. So, trying to be annoying with my Vertex, but you have a lot of porcupines there. I have my Poseidon there to help out, firing at the land, building up Poseidon and Vikings now. I still think it's easy battle and I can attack him. So my partner is attacking the yellow player here with Poseidon and Vikings. But you have to retreat because you have too many Naval platforms here and his Vikings were in a too bad position, too close to the naval platforms here. Okay, I activated the scout boost. And now I try to, um, yeah, attack him here from the side with Solaris, that he will go out of position with his alligators because I have less ships than him. I hope that, uh, yeah, with a better position I can take him down in that way. But that was a bad idea, as it turns out. And you will see now why. Too many hawks as well. And I lost my vertex. Fear. Solaris broke like a banana. Okay, now let's try to attack with all what I have. The only
only good thing what I'm doing here is taking out his uh, chipyard while my partner is still a little bit on defense mode here. Just on the sea he's attacking. My attack was a fail. Oh my gosh, his alligators are strong. He's rank 24. I have still rank 23 upgrades on my navy. And yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Oh my gosh, he's coming. What can I do? I'm trying to defend now <laughs> with that with that what I have here. It'd be hard. Partner still attacking here. Fuck, 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 fuck! Here, he got me here. Damn, I can't come up with anything. Oh, Solaris, come out, please. Also, Vertex here. I have to speed up production of my Solaris. Mm, but in the end, I switched to the common defense boosts to hopefully save one of my chipyards here while he's attacking me. Okay, killing what I can here. Solaris is out now. I can't come up with the vertex. The anti air from the alligators had killed it before it had dealt any damage. Solaris is there. Bam! Beam. Still want to come defense boost here. A Viking as well. Building up another naval platform. My partner is retreating and sent me also some of his units to help out. Vertex is in the air, killed one hawk and lost the Vertex as well. Ha, huh, I had luck here. Okay, defended that attack. Yellow Blair is trying to attack as well. I'm helping out with my Zolaris here. Trying to get another big container what appears on the map. Oh my god. And you have a lot of crowned units there as well. Well, you have a mix of a lot of crowned units, a lot of avia units, or a lot of chips. He always switch his units. And that makes it very difficult for me to uh, find a way to defend that. I really underestimated him too long and uh, now I have to try to come back here. In the moment I'm helping out my partner with the Solaris to bring down some of these naval platforms and be annoying. Did a lot of damage to his base and killed all his naval platforms with my Solaris. But, uh, well, I have to be careful. He have still... And he's coming here now with the crown units. I use also my Poseidon and Vikings uh, as defense. Because that's a very narrow ray here on the land. The ships are very helpfully here to help out. While they try to attack me from the land. Well, I have to build up a lot of land units as well to defend this attack. And so I will have not enough chips, maybe, when he's coming up again with uh, alligators. But I don't think that he still have a lot of hawks. He can't have so many chips now. Okay. Oh, Leviathan is there. My partner have also to retreat here. Okay. I think I can defend that attack. Without any problems. Waiting for my Xerophim. My Solaris is also turning back into the base to help out defending here at this point. Well, he's going to lose all his ground units. And this attack from him was a fail. At least he missed a chameleon. Solaris arrived! Yes! <laughs> I really hope you like that editing of the video. 
Well, defended his attack. My partner is going to attack now the Yellow Blair's base. He also used Flame Assaults here to attack him. Oh my goodness. These are really a lot of alligators. It's really a surprise. I mean, I already built it up naval platforms and ships. Uh, but unfortunately, my naval platforms are very weak. Very weak. And uh, it's... However, even when they would be maxed, these are too many alligators. And he still have a lot of hawks. He switched in, in seconds. In seconds from... Uh, land units to full ships and full hawks and this makes it very difficult oh my god my solaris ah! well in the end he destroyed my solaris here again and it's looking not good for me here at this point he's going to here destroy my base and i have nothing to defend myself right now my partner tried to help out now and at this point I'm really surprised and ask my partner what ranks they are and what kind of players they are. It looks not good. Game over. This is a point where many players think it's game over. Let's see. Oh, Leviathan. <laughs> Very good turn away here from my partner. Leviathan didn't hit at well. There, I played wrong. Push it, baby, push it! Don't surrender, don't surrender! Well, I tried to come back here and move my base to the land side. Solaris is out and I will use the high range from my Solaris cannons. They have more range as the alligator cannons and um, so I can try to bring them down and defend my base and try to come back. Well, my partner is also under attack from Leviathan and alligators here. Let's see how that turns out. My partner also tried to help out where he can, but he's also in trouble. But at least my partner have here fog knocks, <laughs> you can say. Uh, you have a very yeah, high uh, defended base <laughs> with a lot of towers, I think. It will be not a problem for him to defend now. Defending, try to defending here. It turns out that my Solaris was very very useful to defend my base here. I killed all his alligators, just two left. He still tried to bring down my hero factory. Come on, Zerophim, come out. Still trying to defend that factory here. Okay, it looks good. Come defense boost. Pulling up another anti air tower. And he's coming with his orcs. He's coming with his orcs. Ah! Okay. He retreated very good control from orcs. Killed my hero factory, now he's going to attack my HQ here. And now let's see what will happen here at my partner's side. He's on defense position. I still try to come back here in any way. Let's see if there is a chance. Never surrender. Never surrender. Okay, that's good. My partner sent his navy to my base. While he tried to defend his base with a lot of naval platforms. I also tried to build up naval platforms at first and the shipyards to come back on the water side. Enemy send it Leviathan. <laughs> but Leviathan alone is not the one man army, my friend. <laughs> Defended that. Well, my partner is doing a good job here. He's, he is defending his base here, getting attacked by a lot of. Fork. But this flame assaults are very useful now because they unhide all these units inside of the fork and the rocket towers as well give additional firepower for his army. Get out. 
Well, and he here trolled him out of his base, <laughs> out of his home. Good, he defended that attack. He tried to counter attack here. I still try to build up a successfully defense here in my base. I will just build up land units and some chips, but at first I need land units. And I'm scared about nukes. Oh my god, chameleon! <laughs> I have to be careful that I don't laugh. <laughs> I love it to uh, edit the videos like that. I think I have six hours of work just for that one video. But well, I do it for, for the first time. <laughs> I really hope it is worth that much work for you. <laughs> okay, trying to attack him. Again, I underestimate him. He killed my is everything. And now again, he's attacking my Solaris here. I have not that much Typhons here. Anti-air boost. Still not everything in position. I was too fast here. My partner is building up <laughs> the biggest base in the world. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I tried to attack him. I tried to finish him off here. Force firing here into his communion. I have no shield here. Ah, many hawks. A lot of hawks. Well, again, I lost my Zolaris here, still trying to force fire with my Zeus here inside of his cloud. Killed the Chameleon. I have no shield here. And I think I have to retreat. I have not enough Zeus. You also have still a lot of Hawks, another Chameleon. And I think a Leviathan is also on the way here. A lot of cannon towers as well in the base here. Ah, oh, a bad idea. It would be better to retreat faster. Oh, I've just my Typhoons left. Very, very bad control here from my side. I play too aggressive here with bad positioning and uh, not careful. I'm not careful with my army. Well, I have no hero factory left. My partner's still trying to attack. He's doing a good move here. He tried to attack the red player with some Vikings from the back. I have to go back to the base. Shield is coming out soon. Oh, I have not enough Zeus. You have a lot of Jaguars here and Chameleon. Try to retreat, building up a rocket tower and try to bring up a shield. Hero Factory level 2 is built up and I try to build up a Zeroth. Um, well, he defended that easy with Hawks and the item, but we killed a. Here, Avia Factory, but that was it not really worth. So, shield is there, now run, baby. Now I can force fire. Shield will defend my army. But man, I have just two Zeus here. Waiting for my zero from. I don't know how many porcupines he have here in his uh, communion fork. Let's see. My partner is still fighting here on the ocean. And the zero from is out. And he have to retreat. He just have one porcupine left and no more chameleon. Well, I try to build up my hero factory to level 3 again. My partner has all his battles here on sea and on land. And another attack with chameleon. Let's find out what will happen here. Uh, his units are in a bad position. Uh, Eagle 5 have also a lot of torrents there. He will just melt them down like butter. Yeah, I say I will go to attack him. Surprise! Two Leviathans here, and the army 
with crown units and as well the yellow players coming with alligators and I think red also with fox uh, okay this will be hard okay I have to reposition my army here I also have to send my two vikings I already built it up um, I hope my partner will attack yellow now you have no more low item so activated my shield try to spread my army anti-air boost try to hold all my units here inside of the shield radius he didn't hit well with the first um, nuke from Leviathan one Leviathan died the other Leviathan looks like it's out of control no nuke <laughs> it died before it was able to activate the nuke and now he's coming with hawks but he have to retreat Another attack is defended. Zerophim from the partner did a very good attack here with the active ability on his uh, ground units and he have to run away. Okay, another attack defended but my base again got a lot of damage. Again I have to rebuild some buildings here. My base is very slow and highly damaged but Again, we got a small number of crown units and I'm trying to attack him and now let's go and do what we can. My partner do the same, also taking here the yellow player. Recovery boost to help up my army here. I think his base is still highly uh, defended by hawks, gun towers and everything else. Well it's a nice battle, it makes fun. It makes really fun. Even when I must say we did buff a lot of mistakes. Or oh, again a lot of cannon towers here, chameleon, a lot of hawks, leviathan. Okay, I decided for myself to Activate the anti air boost and take the nuke from his uh, Leviathan. He still have no wasp here, what uh, would make the nuclear strike from Leviathan much more dangerous for me. That's very good. Orcs, I'm force firing. I'm force firing where I can. My partner again retreated. Yellow player fighted him back. I have a very good control here of his army. And this cannon towers nerve. And with the hawks he tried to snipe down my my shield and again I lost my Solaris. Ah So active ability from Zero Film. And I have to retreat. Fuck. Okay. Back to the base of my partner. He's also going to lose his alarms here. He's force firing. Very good defense here from my partner. Nuclear strike from the Whiten. That was a very bad hit what he landed there. A lot of porcupines here inside of the cloud. A very big land army from Yellow Blair. Very big. But he got so many defense towers that makes it impossible for Yellow to attack my partner here really. Even when he kills his army and my partner have to retreat, he can't crush this defense here. And uh, Eagle 5 is doing a very good job now here. He also uses Poseidons as an additional anti air unit versus Leviathan and uh, to force fire with the long range rockets here inside of the Cumulian. And he defended that attack. Very nice. Okay. Looks like he's going to try to attack the Yellow Blair now. Leviathan is still alive. Luckily. So 
so. I also try to attack again. Trying to break the defense. And now I have also some Poseidons to help me out as an additional anti-air unit and to force fire and I will try to bring down his um, shipyards and naval platforms to attack him from the seaside in his base. I'm still scared that uh, the red player will have a nuclear strike. I have to be careful. I can't build up my base again. So activating my shield here and try to bring down this alligators first with my alligators and Zeus before I use my Poseidon here. Because alligators would kill the Poseidon. I try to bring them down now. So more Poseidons will come. My partner is still force firing. Oh, this cannon towers. So, beam with Solaris. I try to bring down this shipyard here before the next alligator come out. Ah, again you got the alligator. And the Leviathan as well is here. And Hawks. And again, he's going against my Solaris. No! Well, I also love to use the Leviathan and Rasp in combination with Fox. Uh, it's a very deadly combination here, and he uses it very well. He uses it very well. Bye bye, Leviathan. The Typhoons took his Leviathan finally down. I still have a alligator there nerfing my Poseidon. I'm trying to kill his naval platforms now. No more alligators left. Non-stop Poseidons in production. Okay, it looks good now. Here, his Hawks will have problems. Poseidon have a very strong anti-air weapon now. Again, my partners are under attack here. He's trying everything to defend his base and he's doing that still very well. And the yellow have still no chance to break his defense here. Cerberus arrived, jumped into the fog. So. Looks very good now. My Poseidons can attack his base from the water and can support my land army to take him under control and to stop him using his aviation and killing his gun towers easily. Oh no! Yellow's coming up with alligators to help him out. Ah! Shit. That kills my plan. That really kills my plan. Okay, trying to make as much much defense as I can with my Poseidons. Unfortunately, they are already deaf. So, attacking him now with my land army. Another Leviathan is there. Anti-air boost. A lot of gun towers. And again he killed my shield. Now he's going to attack my Zolaris here with his hawks. Goodbye. So the Leviathan is falling down. But I have to retreat. I have just the Zolaris left and uh, some Typhoons. Again my partner tried to attack the Yellow Blair. I'm still trying to attack him and killing his land units here. More Poseidons arrived. And I again try to attack him here from the water side. Bam! Kill Chameleon. Very nice. 
Again, my units are in a bad position. Oh, my partner did here a great job. The Whiten is there, a lot of alligators. That makes it difficult because the alligators can also help out from the water side while his units are near too close to the water. They can shoot at them. Again, I got a good number of Poseidons as well. Hopefully the yellow player will not send again his alligators to help out. Ah, but it looks like that. My partner retreat and that means the alligators from the yellow player are free to help out the red player. Ah, too bad. Trying to attack his HQ. Oh. And now I have to attack his uh, nuclear strike here. What was uncovered by my Poseidons. And the yellow player is coming up with his alligators to help out his partner. Now everything on the nuclear strike. And hopefully I can kill it before my Poseidons are dead. Hard battle, very hard battle. So the nuclear strike is destroyed. Oh, but you have a... A very good number of alligators here that's dangerous I have to retreat you can also attack my land units here they are also too close to the water side I reposition my army very hard again my partner will now attack the yellow player while his alligators are out of position you have the ray free to attack. Whew, the battle is soon one hour long. Again, two Levitans. Two Levitans, crown units, and hawks. That's very hard. I have to try to go back um, here behind my base. And he will attack my space track now. Good that I have a lot of anti-air towers here and my Zolaris will come out and as everybody knows Zolaris is very helpfully even when you have not much ground units left to defend yourself versus land attacks. When my partner tried to attack he say red nerf him here with the hawks that's true. But I don't think that that last number of hawks had uh, really helped much to defend it, the attack. By little white and from yellow is in my base again. Or again, I have to retreat. Leave my Solaris, don't kill it. Production boost. Another space strike on another position. Hopefully you don't scout it out. I'm still in the production boost here. So my partner is attacking. Non-stop. With everything what he got. Yellow try to spam naval platforms. But my partner is doing very well. Yeah well this battle is soon one hour long. And then the activity will decide the winner. My space strike is ready. Ready to rumble. And I will attack the aviation from the red player. That will help me and will also help my partner, the Hawks Nerf. That was a very good hit. Now the race free for my partner. And he's attacking the yellow blair with everything what he got. I still have to defend my base. Ah, dangerous here. Oh my goodness. Just some minutes left. Come on. Ah. Okay. Red player is white in the staff. 
And my Solaris is hopefully enough to defend the ground unit attack here from the red player. It should be not that much problem for me. I will outrange his army with Solaris. And kill his army slowly. Try to kill my Solaris here. Now taking my shield. And my partner got the yellow player. There is nothing left in his base to defend. Well, it seems to look not good for me, but trust me, my Solaris is, I think, enough to defend my cool base versus this army. Or defend it at least long enough that my partner can finish yellow. Bam! No more chameleon. Another Zeus is out. No more construction yard. Mistake from my side. I had the chance to spam some towers. They had helped a lot. But we defended it. Just two Jaguars left. Tried to come up with another construction yard. Well done. Solaris is really helpfully a one-man army. Come defense boost. Uh emergency boost. No! Another Leviathan from yellow. Okay, but the yellow blair is down. You have no chance to do anything here. Uh, that's a good chance now for my partner to switch to aviation to help me out here. Yeah. There was one moment where I was not careful enough with my Solaris. I saved it, it versus the Hawks when I uh, sent it my Leviathan to the naval platforms to use the anti-air. Come defense boost, try to use my Zero from here to kill his land units here. Active ability, bam 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 bam. Kill the chameleon, very nice. I have one entire tower here. Try to build up my base again. Yellow is down, I'm still defending. Zeus is coming out. And he just spam Jaguars here. He just spam Jaguars. Another beam from Solaris. And there are not much Jaguars left. Nice. Very nice. Trying to attack the Leviathan here with my Xerophim. But my Xerophim is not strong. It's just class 7. With weak armor and HP upgrades. I upgraded it on the attack power to kill fast some important buildings. But well, it looks good for us. I think we won that battle. That was a very, very close one. Um, my partner is switching now to the aviation. And I hoped, I hope that you liked that video, that you will leave a comment under this video. It was really a lot, a lot of work to do that in that way. Um, when it's enough to, to do a normal commentary on a video and you don't need that effects here I added, um, then just say it. It's much less uh, work for me. And I just want to know what is better, what makes more fun. This is special editing and it's time. See you next time. Bye bye.